ahead. Thank you, Jen. Just another question about infrastructure. You're saying that the president was trying to clear up what he meant on Thursday and that it was not his intention to issue a veto threat. He said, if they don't come, the two bills together, I'm not signing. Real simple. So did he change his mind or did he make a mistake? I will, I will say, Peter, I know that we're quite focused sometimes on process in here. I understand that. The, right. the process um, of a bill becoming a law is important, but, but the president intends to sign both pieces of legislation into law. Uh, he is eager to do that, looking forward to do that. As you know, uh, they are both moving forward on dual tracks in Congress. Uh, the leaders in Congress are ensuring that is happening. Okay. Uh, something one of the advisors said this weekend, Cedric Richmond, he said, Republicans defunded the police by not supporting the American Rescue Plan. But uh, how is it that that is an argument uh, to be made when the president never mentioned needing money for police to stop a crime wave when he was selling the American Rescue Plan? Well, the president did mention that the American Rescue Plan, the state and local funding, something that was supported by the president, a lot of Democrats who supported and voted for the bill, could help ensure uh, local cops were kept on the beat in communities across the country. As you know, didn't receive a single Republican vote. That funding has been used to keep cops on the beat. But at the time, that was sold as uh, these local police departments might have a pandemic-related budget shortfall, not we need to keep cops on the beat because there's a crime wave. Uh, I think that any local uh, department would argue that keeping cops on the beat to keep communities safe when they had to, because of budget shortfalls, fire police is, is something that helped them address yeah, crime in their local communities. Those in the local communities. The White House's argument was the American Rescue Plan is going to be $1,400 checks. It's going to be vaccines, vaccinators. Uh, we're, it's going to put us on the path to beating the virus, not... It did those things as well. It was a pretty good bill and piece of legislation. Okay, uh, Go just ahead. One more, oh. just, uh, uh, this weekend, Gwen Barry, who hopes to represent the United States as an Olympian on the hammer throwing uh, events, won a bronze medal at the trials, and then she turned her back on the flag while the anthem played. Does President Biden think that is appropriate behavior for someone who hopes to represent Team USA? Well, uh, Peter, I, I haven't spoken to the president specifically about this, but I know he's incredibly proud to be an American uh, and has great respect for the anthem and all that it represents, especially for our, our men and women serving in uniform all around the world. He would also say, of course, that part of that pride in our country means recognizing there are moments where we are, as a country, haven't lived up to our highest ideals. And it means respecting the right of people granted to them in the Constitution to peacefully protest.